this is Mike Bannock and Chris Morales, and we're here to talk about a use case for the Cognito platform in hybrid Azure environments. On September 25th, Microsoft announced the Azure Virtual Network Tap. And one of the things this did was allows our virtual sensor to have full visibility into the traffic within an Azure cloud. So for our enterprise customers, it means they can extend the usefulness of their Cognito platform in the enterprise estate to the Azure cloud environment. So today in the enterprise estate, the Cognito platform is getting metadata from sensors and virtual sensors distributed throughout the organization. So now a virtual sensor running natively in Azure can receive data, networked traffic from the virtual tap, extract the metadata, send it through an Azure Express route or VPN tunnel to the Cognito brain, and get full visibility into the threat landscape in both the enterprise and Azure cloud environment, so the hybrid cloud. Now, we'll use this environment to walk through this use case. And in most, as is in, in most cases, the first initial incursion might be in the enterprise environment. Absolutely. So after initial infection occurs on a user device, the first thing attackers always do is they first have to call back to get command and control for further instruction from the attacker domain. Once they receive further instructions, what that usually entails is the attacker looking to perform internal reconnaissance on the network so they can see what other systems that that infected system actually has access to. And as they find devices that have exposed ports, users, or services, or things running, the attacker starts to spread laterally, laterally with the ultimate goal to move from user systems to key assets, which are servers with higher levels of permission, things like that. And then what happens here within the hybrid enterprise is that when an attacker finds administrative access or critical access to a system, they're able to use those same type of credentials to move laterally into cloud environments onto cloud servers that only had access into the enterprise. Once they establish a beachhead on a cloud server in that environment, that they repeat the entire process of performing internal reconnaissance except now they do it in the cloud environment to other servers that are connected to the workload they were able to access. And as they start to again see exposed uh, credentials or exposed services or ports, the attacker then starts to move laterally within the cloud environment, continually getting access to more and more systems with the ultimate goal being that the attacker wants to exfil exfiltrate critical data from cloud environments. So the Cognito platforms have been very, been very successful for our customers at detecting all of these different phases to prevent any damage to their organization. This enables them to move confidently into the Azure environment because they have the same level of visibility. All these behaviors that have happened within the Azure environment, the internal reconnaissance, the lateral movement, and ultimately exfiltration of data are behaviors that the Cognito platform would be able to detect equally as well as it has been in the enterprise state. So this gives you enhanced confidence in moving to the cloud and continuous monitoring, which is necessary for uh, detection and response when an attack does occur. So thanks for joining this quick uh, demonstration or walkthrough of a use case. Please request more information about how you can uh, get an early preview, a, a demo, or access to the, uh, the software as it becomes released.